Once upon a time, there was a little boy aged three and a half who knew how to do some magic and he could make himself very, very small or the normal size. And when he's made himself very small, he could make himself as small as his thumb, no bigger than a tiny carrot. Well, the little boy one day decided to make himself a boat for his bath. It was only a little boat and it was made of paper. Though, as the boy was quite big and heavy, there was no way he could get in the boat without sinking it. So he decided to make himself very, very small. So he said the magic word, abracadabra. And instantly he was as small as a thumb and he jumped in his boat. Now, something interesting happened. While he was sitting around in his boat in his bath, his mummy came in to look for him. But she couldn't see him in the bath because first of all, he was in his boat and secondly, he was very, very small. So the mummy thought, hmm, my little boy Aidan must have gone to bed. So she pulled the plug out of the bath and went to look for him. Now, the minute the water started going down the drain, the boat got sucked down the drain too with Aidan in it. Down, down the drain he went with the water splush and ended up in the river in no time at all. And now he was on a rocking, rolling, roaring river, left and right when the boat, it was an exciting adventure. And then he saw another boat and on the boat were pirates. Aidan thought, I'd like to be a pirate too. So he shouted across the pirates, can I come on your boat please? And they said, only if you're a pirate. And Aidan said, yes, I'm a pirate. So they gave, he went on the boat of the pirates and they gave him a sword and a shield and a patch to put over his eye. And they went into very met lots and lots of pirate battles and won all sorts of treasure from other, other ships. And finally the river got to the sea and the pirate ship got to the sea with Aiden on, on board, still very small. And then suddenly Aiden thought, hmm, I'm feeling like my bed. I'd like to be in bed. I'm feeling a bit sleepy. But he realized he must be a long way from home now. How could he get back, he thought. Just then, he saw a little aeroplane floating on the water. Oh, some little boys left his aeroplane in the river and it's floated all the way down to the sea. So he jumped out of the pirate ship and swam over to the aeroplane, still very small, and it was a very small aeroplane, of course. He got into the cockpit and started the engine. Brum, 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 and the propellers started to spin and the plane took off and up into the sky it went. Now he sat behind the controls, steering the joystick, looking down, trying to find his home. Eventually, looking down, he could see his garden and his house and he could see his mummy and daddy looking for him everywhere. They were in the garden looking under the bushes and the hedges. So he took his plane and landed the plane in the garden and jumped out before his mummy and daddy saw him and ran to his bedroom. Mummy and daddy saw the plane land and daddy said, oh look, somebody's landed their toy plane in our garden. Our little boy Aiden would like that when we find him. So Aiden ran upstairs to his bedroom, feeling very, very tired jumped into his bed, pulled the blankets up to his chin, curled up in a ball and started to fall asleep. And in no time at all, he was asleep. Meanwhile, the daddy picked up the plane and took it to the boy's bedroom and said, oh, mommy, I found, I found Aidan, he's asleep in his bed. And he put the toy plane beside the bed so the little boy would have it when he woke up. Now the next day, the little boy did wake up in the morning and saw the plane, was so happy with it. And he immediately took the plane down to show his mummy and daddy. He said, look, daddy, this is the plane I flew in yesterday. Well, do you think that daddy believed him? No, he didn't. But it was true, wasn't it? He really did fly a plane and he really did go on a boat which went down the drain. But you know what? Sometimes things happen to little boys that nobody believes. And unfortunately that was the case, but he knew it was true. And then he put his hand in his pocket and you know what he found in his pocket? He found the eye patch that the pirates had given him. 
Then he knew it was definitely true. It wasn't just a dream. And that's the end of the story. Daddy, Daddy. Daddy. Yes? His, his airplane, he was here. What about the aeroplane? The aeroplane was here. Was it here? The aeroplane landed in the water. That's right, the aeroplane landed in the water. And he got in the aeroplane. And he got in the aeroplane. And he flew it all the way back to his garden. But he went down in his rain in his bed. And then he jumped upstairs, ran upstairs to his bed. Yes. And then Daddy came and found him in the bed and thought he'd been there all the time. <laughs>